Okay, so I've stopped because there's something here that doesn't happen a lot, but it does actually happen. And this is where Queen Anne's Lace and Poison Hemlock are growing pretty much side by side. And this is on a roadside. The Poison Hemlock is growing where it is shadier and wetter, and the Queen Anne's Lace where it's a little bit drier. But to the untrained eye, these look nearly exactly the same. So you'll find Queen Anne's Lace growing by the sides of roads where it's really, really dry, and it'll have a unique identification feature, which is one little chocolate flower in the midst of all of its white flowers. When they dry, they go into this beautiful disc formation that is quite fuzzy and fluffy and very concave. And this is poison hemlock, okay? So it looks very similar. It's in the same family. However, it has purple blotches on its stem. It's much more of a wetland plant. Their seed heads are not fuzzy and they don't go into that concave arrangement. The leaf shape of poison hemlock and Queen Anne's lace look very similar. However, the leaves of Queen Anne's lace are more sparse, whereas these are closer together and they're more of a verdant green than a brown, olive green and purpley texture. And this is one of the reasons why I love teaching foraging because I love teaching people how to train their eye. It's all about training your eye because if you are unaware of something like this then it could actually be fatal. So you need to start with learning the identification features of plants and honing these observation skills.